Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been so long since I've up, 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 up. I can't even talk now, I haven't uploaded in so long. I know it's been ages since I have uploaded a video onto YouTube, but that is because I've had exams for four weeks straight, which was so stressful. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I have had exams because I wrote a little thing for you guys, um, just to keep you updated. But now I am back with more videos and I've got loads of good ideas written up for you guys so I'm so excited to film them for you. So moving on to today's video I thought I would film my go-to spring look which is a makeup look that I've been doing quite a lot recently and I think it's perfect for spring because it's really pink, it's glowy and it's really simple to do. So I am loving it at the moment and if you're not sure what go-to is because I've done a go-to makeup look previously and some people came up to me and they were like, what is go to? But basically, go to is a makeup look you do which... Oh wait, how do you explain it? <laughs> basically, a makeup look you do that you don't base it on an outfit or an occasion or anything like that. You just get up and do it sort of thing. And it's just a look that you've been doing quite a lot recently. So that's basically it. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about this candle company called White Paris Luxury. And they reached out to me and sent me one of their candles to try for myself. And then share with you guys my opinion on it and all of that stuff. Um, and it isn't just any ordinary candle company. I'm not just like, this is a plain candle. No, it just, their candles have different meanings and it helps your well-being basically. Um, so if you want to hear more information about the candle company, then I will explain that at the end of my video. So if you want to know my, if you want to know, if you want to learn how I got this go-to look, as well as more information about this candle company, then please keep watching. I've already done my primer, foundation and eyebrows, so I'm going to move straight on to the eyes. I haven't done my concealer or contour yet, and I'm going to do that after because if there's any fallouts underneath my eyes, it's just easier to clean it up afterwards, so that is why I do it. Um, for this look, I'm using the Carly Bible palette, which is amazing. Um, I highly recommend you get it. But this is such an affordable and versatile palette that I seriously use every single day. I've had to order um, a few more palettes because I'm obsessed. It's so good. So I highly recommend this palette. Of course, I will leave everything in the description below if you are looking for any of the makeup products that I have used in this video. I'm just going to use this light shade first. I'm going to pop this all over my eyelid, tear duct, brow bone, literally everywhere. And this is just going to be the base. After that, I'm going to get this beautiful shimmer shade and I'm going to pop it onto my lid. But I want to do this so it is quite a sharp line from where it stops at the crease. And you'll see why in a minute. And I'm also going to put it onto my tear duct and a tiny bit on my brow bone. forgetting to tell you what brushes I'm using and then after that I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics 103 brush and my favourite shade from this palette, I use it every single day, I love it and I'm just going to pop this slightly above my crease and it doesn't have to be neat this part at all and I'm basically, I'm going to blend it out so it doesn't really matter what it looks like for now I'm basically doing like window wiper motion, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then I'm just going to get an angle blending brush and lightly blend this colour out and upwards. And drag it down a tiny bit. And then with that same shade and brush, I'm just going to do quite a thick layer on the lower lash line and stop three quarters of the way, so around here, because I want to keep the shimmer colour. And then I want to join it upwards. And it doesn't matter if it's messy because we're going to go in with the concealer afterwards just to neaten it all up. So it doesn't matter for now. Mine's so messy. <laughs> 
and then going back with your blending brush and then blending it all out and then after that you want to get the darkest purple shade from that palette and you want to get a really really thin brush this one is from BH and it's the 106 brush and you're going to pop it direct onto the crease but you don't want to move it upwards or anything so you're just going to pop it onto your crease It doesn't matter if any falls down because it will happen. And then you want to get go back with the other shade with the other brush. And then you want to get that colour and I'm sort of pulling it from where it starts and then dragging it upwards. Just so it all blends really nicely. And then I'm going to get my blending brush and then blend it all in together. And then it's just about going back and forth. I mean, it won't be perfect the first time. I wish it is, but it's never perfect. And then you want to go back with the, the shimmer shade. Shimmer shade? Shimmer, I can't say it. Shimmer shade, yeah. And then you want to pop that onto your lid again, but you want to make the line from the crease really sharp. So take your time on this bit. And then I'm going to go back with the dark purple shade and then go back in my crease and then also drag it downwards on my lower lash line just at the bottom corner bit. And then join them together. Oh my god, look at all of the fallout. Oh god, it's a good job that I'm going to do my concealer afterwards because it looks like I've just got punched in the face. I know at this point it looks really messy and you're probably thinking, what the hell has she done? But I think eyeshadow always looks bad at this point, so it takes time for it to all come together when you apply the eyeliner and your mascara and eyelashes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so for eyeliner, I'm using this Kiko Ultimate Pen Longwear Eyeliner. And this is basically going to be the base for the eyeliner, and then I'm going to go back after I apply my eyelashes with liquid eyeliner. After that you're going to get your mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic of course. And then like I say you can leave this look with just mascara but you guys know that I love putting eyelashes on. So I'm going to put my favourite XOX Primer Lash eyelashes on. I'm then going to use my Instant Anti-Age Eye Eraser in light and I'm just going to conceal my face and highlight any parts that needs to be highlighted and all of that stuff. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just blend it all in. My Beauty Blender is really dirty by the way. I've just ordered a new one so it's all good. And then I'm just going to set my concealer with this L'Oreal powder, which is so good. I really, really recommend it.
And to contour, I'm using my Laura Mercier contour palette, of course. And then I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones and my lip. And a little bit under my lip. I don't really feel like contouring my whole face because I don't do it every day. And I prefer to use a bronzer just on my forehead and everywhere else because I think it looks more natural. I'm using this Bare Minerals Original, which is a powdered foundation in the shade Medium Tan, which is a lot darker than my actual skin colour although it is a foundation and I'm just going to pop this on my forehead because I prefer the colour of it in comparison to using a bronzer so I'm going to use this on my head and I think uh, sometimes especially in the summer when you're like going out and stuff and your makeup and you get a bit hot and sweaty and it's all disgusting um, and your forehead is so shiny and you're like oh my god whereas I think this prevents that from happening which is really, really good, and I've been loving it at the moment. So I highly recommend using a powdered foundation for your forehead, because it does help a lot, in my opinion. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop some mascara on my bottom lashes. For blush, I'm just using this one from Bourjois, Bourjois? Um, which is a really shimmery pink shade and I think it goes perfect with the spring look. And then I'm going to go back with the Carly Bible palette and use this shade here which is the best highlighter I have ever used, ever. And I'm not just saying that, I promise, oh my god it's just so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop this on top of my cheekbones. On the bridge of my nose and then my cupid's bow. Oh, that's shiny. <laughs> I'm just going to get my foundation brush and sort of blend everything together. Um, I don't actually know what colour to do because I wasn't sure if I should do a pinky sort of shade or more of a neutral because with this look I always wear cappuccino and this lip gloss that I got from Kiko but then I don't know if I'm using too many nudes in my videos. Er, I don't know. This is the Kiko 712 or 712 lip liner and it's a really really nice pinky, like light pink shade. Then I'm going to mix it with the Smooth Temptation lipstick from Kiko as well in the shade 6. Let's see what this looks like. That is cappuccino as well. I'm just trying to mix quite a few together. I think I'll leave it with three because I don't want to use like all my lipsticks. So this is the final result for the makeup look. Now moving on to this White Luxury Paris, White Paris Luxury I mean, Candle Company. Um, and I will leave all of that information in the description below. But I've got some information on my phone that I will tell you guys she does it in every single one of my videos. So annoying. Anyway, White Paris Luxury, we are here to help you improve your well-being using scented candles and reed diffusers. So they sell, obviously, candles and diffusers. And they've sent me the Bahama London Le Jardin candle. Um, and this candle, the one that I've got, looks like this. And I think it's so cute. 
I really like how simple the packaging is as well um, and honestly it smells amazing oh when they've sent me um, I'm looking down at my phone here to see all the facts about it um, the well-being benefits it helps improve your skin which is crazy to think that a candle can help improve your skin and um, it also reduces stress reduces anxiety and helps improve your concentration which I definitely need because <laughs> I'm sort of a bit like da -da -da, in my own little world I'm going to show you the website now because I think it's so helpful so their website looks like this um, and here you can find out more about them here you can find your scent and then here you can shop so if we click on find your perfect scent so if you click on that you can scroll down and here you've got all of the different options that you can pick that can help you improve um, your well-being so if we click reduce anxiety let's have a look at this one so we've clicked on that then if you scroll down oh I'm going around a bit you can just see different candles and diffusers that can help your problem and you can pick your scent and stuff which I think is amazing and then if you click on the candle this is the one that I've got oh it's on sale at the moment so this is the candle that I've got and if you click on it and you scroll down it has all the information here about the candle what's that oh when you get 20% discount voucher um, and it just basically has all the information about it which I think ah, is so helpful so I would definitely go and check their website out let's see how long it burns for 75 hours this burns for which is so worth it that is crazy so you're getting your money's worth oh and it smells so good <laughs> um, so I would definitely go and check their website out because I think it is really beneficial for your well-being so this is the final result I really hope you guys enjoyed my go-to spring look as well as more information on white Paris luxury I will leave all their details in my description below for you guys um, I think it is such an amazing company and it's such an amazing idea to have a, a sandal <laughs> I was gonna say scent and candle hmm um, to have a candle and some diffusers to help you and your well-being so I think it is amazing so anyway if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to my channel um, and I will see you guys next week bye